Hello everyone. Welcome to Telugu One Academy. Friends, today we will be learning about the Chief of Defence Staff. What are the important institutions and when was the first idea it got uh, fruitified and when was it established? All these things we will be learning today. So, the first one, when it comes to the history of Chief of Defence Staff, the idea of Chief of Defence Staff was first promulgated or first set during the Kargil Review Committee. Okay, the Kargil Review Committee headed by K. Subramanian in 1999 and recommended comprehensive review of the national security framework for improved decision making in defence matters. The committee also recommended that the mechanism established between the defence ministry and service headquarters and interface between them should be holistically studied and reorganized. That is they are saying that all the three defence forces what we have in India, Navy, Army and Air Force should coordinate themselves so that we get a good response during the real time warfare. So based on the three Subramanyam committee report, a group of ministers in 2001 recommended the creation of the four post of chief of defense staff. So in 2001 it was asked but later there was lack of general consensus because what exactly should the role of chief of defense staff be? Whether he has precedence over the chiefs of uh, three armed forces, what would be its exact role? And when it comes to the precedence over the three armed forces, obviously the three armed forces will reject the idea of chief of defense staff because they want their own independence in their own uh, prescripted areas. So, although the group of ministers recommended the creation of chief of defense staff in 2001, no government brought these significant reforms in the country's higher defense organization. There was lack of political will to implement this important decision. It is also because of the strong determination and leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi that such a transformation institution could be realized and it was formed in year 2019 with a government order and it came into existence by January 2020. Okay, so countries with chief of defense staff. What are all the countries which have the same institution as chief of defense staff? It is pertinent to note that many major countries of the world have created uh, the post of chief of defense staff to bring more jointness uh, and integration in armored forces. Yes, everything is fine. I know these countries also that is Italy, France, China, UK, USA, Japan and, and Canada. Despite these examples, no consensus could be reached within our country in this regard at that time. But why? Why exactly do you need uh, the chief of defense staff? My friends, the China is uh, increasing day by day, economically, politically and military also. Because of its very aggressive nature, because of its very uh, swift nature in creating theater commands. What are theater commands? Theater commands are those commands which have all the three forces. Okay, so China was able to create almost seven to eight theater commands or integrated commands. When it comes to India, we have only one integrated command that is Andaman Nicobar Integrated Command, where all the three armored forces work in close relationship to counter enemy's attack on the mainland India. Because of this incident, because when a war comes, because of lack of coordination between the three armed forces, we could lose. And because of the close coordination of China, they might win. So to counter this issue, we need a central point of contact for the government and three armed forces that could be our chief of defense staff. So reforms of the century in the Indian higher defense organization. You see, Prime Minister Modi has announced the creation of Chief of Defence Staff on his uh, Independence Day speech on 15th August 2019 in the Red Fort. Uh, the subject expert on the issue have been demanding this for a long time. Today, we have decided that we will now have the Chief of Defence Staff, that is CDS, after formation of this post, all the three forces will get effective leadership at the top level. So the Cabinet Committee on Security, the Cabinet Committee on Security on 24 December 2019 
took the historic decision to create the post of chief of defense staff to enhance the quality of military advance to political leadership through integration of service that is the coordination between the government and armed forces this historic step aims to develop and foster expertise in defense matters or better and more informed decision making the chief of defense staff is the permanent chairman to the chief of staffs committee and acts as a principal military advisor to raksha mantri or ministry of defense on all tri service matters and provide impartial advice to the political leadership see such a important post what you see he is also the chairman of chief of staff committee so my friends uh, you have created a new body that is chief of defense staff you need to also provide him a different role you need to have to provide a power also because such a premier institution need a separate department so eventually we have also created a new department under the ministry of defense okay that is called uh, department of military affairs department of military affairs the cabinet committee on security in its decision on the same decision uh, paper on which cds was created also created and approved the creation of department of military affairs friends do not worry i'll also tell the mandate of department of military affairs in eventually the department of military affairs was assigned specific task by notification by the cabinet secretariat issued on 30th december 2019 the overarching principle of this arrangement is that the work related to military affairs to be given by only military and department of military affairs while the department of defense will re, will do things related to defense of the country including the how the defense policy should be and what the defense policy of india should be will be dealt with defense This positive change has been warmly welcomed by the armed forces as well as uh, the strategic community. Even uh, the former chief of army staff, General Bipin Rawat, was the first uh, was the first uh, chief of defense staff. Unfortunately, we lost him. Okay, he's a martyr. We lost him in a uh, helicopter crash because of uh, failure in the helicopter. Okay, it was happened uh, in Tamil Nadu. so various uh, uh, newspapers all over the india have applauded the step which are taken by the government in creating the chief of defense staff and even creating the department of military affairs it is a very good step my friends okay the creation of department of military affairs in the ministry of defense and appointment of chief of defense staff as a permanent chairman to the chief of staff committee as well as secretary of department of military affairs you see chief of defense staff is also the secretary of department of military affairs is the most significant and important reform in higher defense chief of defense staff level organization for smooth transaction of this work we have even provided personnel from department of defense Uh, around 159 personnel to the department of military affairs in addition we have provided subject expertise in addition we have provided some secretaries and deputy secretaries from various forces okay we have provided a mix of civilian and military officers in the department of military affairs and chief of defense staff to commence function within just uh, 20 days from the notification which was given by the cabinet committee on defense So friends what are the advantages of uh, the creation of department of military affairs the department of military affairs by virtue of being a truly integrated department will achieve better results at all levels through efficient coordination between armed forces and civil services this will help uh, facilitate inter service integration and better civilian military coordination in the nation's higher defense organization it will also strengthen the process of joint planning operations and procure thereby making armed forces more effective and efficient under the new department the logistic structure will be structure being fully revamped to make more and more efficient it will also form three service joint service study groups 
and developing common logistic policies for services that will enhance the supply chain functions such as planning, procurement, inter inventory management, uh, distribution, disposal uh, and uh, documentation. A pilot project was based on the establishment of three joint logistic nodes, benefits and results of the transformation chapter 4 chief of defense staff at Mumbai, Gauhati and Plod Blair had already been rolled off. Now you see, simply let me explain all these points what I have been reading out for you. So, creation of Department of Military Affairs, my friends, can create a, a close relationship between the civilian authorities also. So, what happens, military will understand the real ground reality, what is faced by the people in India. And because of this close relation, and because of this Department of Military Affairs, there will be a close relationship between the three forces of India. They can from theatre commands, they can from your close logistic arrangements, or logistic exchange. Because my friends, even army has its own air wing. It might lead landing support. Okay, Even, uh, even uh, air force need landing support from uh, Indian Navy. When we have uh, aircraft carriers, where Indian Navy also have their own uh, aircraft services. So, to bring a close relation, to bring a holistic logistic support system, we need such a department. A concrete effort is, and more you see, a concrete effort is being made to move forward from a single service approach to integrated planning and execution. We are moving from an ideology that we are separate, army is separate, navy is separate, air force is separate. No, we are all same, we are all a military force of India. So to bring such an ideology, this department plays a leading role. Towards this, three joint doctrines have been formulated in last one year, while four new joint doctrines, namely Cape Stone, Cyber, Space and Intelligent Surveillance and Reconnaissance are the advanced stage. That is, this Department of Military Affairs will work in close relationship with the in order to enhance combat capability and balance of defense expenditure, more than 270 logistic installations of Indian Army have been closed and scaled down, resulting in substantial saving and exchequer besides increasing teeth to tail ratio. Okay. A holistic review of the training methodology is also underway to modernize integrated and rationalized training as also to empower optimal utilization and infrastructure resources. You see, even the former uh, chief of uh, Navy, that is Admiral of Navy, okay, he even said the chief of defense staff is one of the premier institution and it is very, very necessary and he uploaded. The creation of Department of Military Affairs with the chief of defense staff as his head is one year day, okay, a new year's day is the most significant development in the national security domain since independence. Keeping in mind the goal of Atmanirbhar Bharat, the Department of Military Affairs have been given the role of declaring few weapons, okay, few weapons which uh, the Ministry of Defense would be buying from other sources as positive indigenous list. What exactly does this positive indigenous list uh, states is that whatever equipment have been noted in this positive indigenous list will be only and only bought from India itself. That is, we are not purchasing those equipment outside India. They will be created and designed and procured within India. Okay. These equipment also include arms, ammunition, guns, uh, okay, combat platforms, uh, advanced weapon system, etc. Okay. The department will keep uh, issuing the new list regularly. It will continuously issue. Till date, when I am saying this class, there are almost three Three positive indigenous list list released. Okay, the work of establishing theater and joint command is also progressed swiftly. The study group reports have been analyzed, and implementation roadmap is under final deliberation. A tri-service joint working group has also been set up to study the work out nuances of integrated communication networks between these services okay see you can see everything is going towards creating a combined effort uh, having combined network services having a combined uh, logistic services okay 
A review is being done to right size reshape the units of Indian Army. The CDS and Department of Military Affairs are striving to promote integration of three services through joint planning for the best use of military capabilities. Military procedures are being worked out to integrate defense planning, procurement and operation. Some other measures also being progressed to rationalize the utilization of existing resources that include uh, uh, reforms in functioning of three services, promote use of indigenous equipment as I told you, use optimal use of infrastructure, integrate a rationalized use of international cooperation, promote greater jointness and standardization between services. Every point is done, almost I have explained. Self-explanatory slide, my friend, please pass and read this slide. Important slides are ahead, I need to explain them elaboratively. Okay. Abolition of absolute rules and acts, uh, that is old rules and acts in the Army Act and uh, various defense acts. Uh, formulate joint promotion policies, promulgation of joint staff assignment for career progression, Review the terms of deployment of territorial army. This is very, very important. Regarding territorial army, my friends, I have said uh, in the chapter or class of uh, armed forces of India, chief of defense staff is the rank. So what is the rank of chief of defense staff? Friends, he is the four star rank officer. He has no precedence over any of the chief of armed forces. That is, he cannot direct the chief of army, chief of navy or chief of air force to do some work. Okay. It is equivalent to the, with salary and prerequisite equivalent to the service chiefs. The chief of defense staff will also head the department of military affairs to be created within the ministry of defense and would function as its secretary. The following will be the areas that will be dealt by the military of defense affairs or chief, military of uh, Department of Military Affairs headed by CDS. What are the various functions you see? The Armour Forces of the Union, namely the Army, Navy and the Air Force. Integrated Headquarters for Military of Ministry of Defence, compromising the Army, Naval and Air Force Headquarters uh, and uh, Defence Staff Headquarters. The Territorial Army will be under his control. Works regulating the Army, Navy and Air Force. Procurement exclusively for the services except capital acquisitions as per the prevalent rules and procedures. So apart from the EBO mandate, the Department of Military Affairs will conduct uh, include the following areas. Promoting jointness, promoting indigenization, restructuring of military command so that there is a joint uh, effort uh, among the defense forces. The chief of defense staff, apart from being the head of department of military affairs, will also be the permanent chairman to the chief of staff committee. He will act as a principal military advisor to the Raksha Mantri, as I already told. The three chiefs will continue to advise the Raksha Mantri on the matters exclusively which are related to their own defense force. CDS will not exercise any military command, including over the three services chief, so as to able to provide impartial advice. To the politicals. As per the permanent chair, as the permanent chairman of chief of staff, the CDS will perform these following duties. That is, function as a military advisor to the nuclear command's authority, which is under the prime minister office, and national security advisor will be leading this nuclear command office. Uh, CDS will administer tri services organizations, okay, commands related to the cyber and space. CDS will be the member of Defense Acquisition Council. This is very important. Chaired by the Ministry of Defense. Okay. And Defense Planning Committee. Chaired by the National Security Advisor. NSA is nothing but National Security Advisor. We'll have a separate clause on National Security Advisor also. Bring about jointness in operations in logistics, training and support and communication repairs and maintenance, etc. In three services. Ensure optimal utilization of infrastructure and rationalize it through jointness, implement five-year different capital acquisition plan, this is very important, and two-year roll-on annual plans as a follow-up to integrated capital development, okay, capability development, assign interstate prioritization to capital acquisition, proposal based on anticipated budget, bring out about reforms in the functioning of three services, 
the country would be benefited by coordination action etc etc whatever i have told you is continuously have been repeated in the mandates or roles of department of staff committee also okay so how is the chief of defense staff appointed friends chief of defense staff uh, will be selected from the uh, army chief whoever is the senior and it will be rotated among the uh, different uh, chiefs of armed forces okay that is sometimes you will get a chief of defense staff from army sometimes you might get from navy and one time you will get from air force and there most of the uniform is, uh, you can see in my first picture where i have started this class that contains the insignia or different emblems which will be used by the chief of defense staff okay their uniform will reflect uh, their parental service that is if you are from army you will have a army type of uniform air force air force type of blue color uniform navy you will have a white colored uniform okay apart from this the committee which appoints uh, the cds will contain only two members that is prime minister and the home minister defense minister will not play any role in his appointment this is very very important because of the short nature of this appointment committee the cds can be appointed very easily without any uh, uh, what you say uh, external influence also i can say okay eventually however cds and indian army chief will be conferred by the appointment committees of the cabinet or the acc since 2016 it only comprised of two members that is uh, prime minister and the home minister presently amit shah and narendra modi as our prime minister earlier the minister heading the concerned department in this instance the minister of defense was also part of this but today is not perhaps this short chain of command will make the critical military appointments unproblematic so this is uh, what exactly you need to know about the chief of defense staff my friends simply in a nutshell let me tell you conclude this class in five points you which you have to write in your exam because i have given you a very elaborate class just that i do not want you to miss any important point so the first point cds appointment by prime minister and home minister second point he will be the senior most person third point he will have no precedence or no role or say in armed forces chiefs and third fourth point you need to note down he will be the head of department of military affairs he will also be the head of uh, staffs committee okay he will be a member of national security advisor defense procurement policy nuclear command authority and all this his major role as per the military affairs department is to form a, a holistic tri service command which will be helpful for india in its future warfare which could most probably happen a two front warfare that is with pakistan and china attacking together on india unless or until such a department is successful and such a tri command units which share in logistics and also share in defense i intelligence and also share in forming exact sized commands that is they are reformed unless or until total system is reformed you can't win such a two side war especially with lack of coordination with among the three armed forces that's why the creation of chief of defense staff at such an in time of our history is very very crucial and it has become a sign cure non so friends let us end our class here so thank you for watching our video this is nikhil from telugu 1 academy thank you